In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to add custom fonts like this into your Dubsado forms. So by default, usually if you have a custom font um, that you paid for that isn't on Google or Adobe, then you would usually have to host it in your website. But actually there is a workaround that you can use to host the font in your Dubsado account. So I'm just going to go through the steps now of exactly how to get your fonts working in your forms. So head over to your Dubsado account and just go to your client's project. Um, so I'm just going to use this dummy one, first of all. So the first thing that I want you to do, if you don't have a form with a uploader file in there, then I want you to go and add a form. So I'm just going to create like a really basic form. We're not going to add it to the client um, portal. It's just going to stay within the actual dashboard so you can view it. So I'm just going to create a one time questionnaire quickly and then drag and drop a file uploader in there. OK, then I'm just going to save it. Now that you have your questionnaire, we can upload the font to the questionnaire. So I'm going to go and grab a custom font and show you exactly how to do this. I'm liking the look of this one, so I'm just going to download this. But once you've downloaded your font, it's going to probably be in a OTF file. So the thing I want you to do is head over to this website. It's transfonta.org. And we're going to convert this into your um, the right files that you need to upload into your form. So if you find that font that you've just downloaded, it will probably come in a zip file. So if you open the zip file and open the folder, then you'll be able to find the font. And you can just simply drag and drop it to the add font section. Press convert and then you'll see that you can download this. So if you select download, you open up that folder, you'll have the two files in there that you need to upload into this questionnaire. So we're just going to go over to view and then um, click open so we can actually view it as a client, even though the client won't see this because um, you're not applying it to the portal. And then I want you to drag those two files into the file uploader. So what you can do now is you will right click on this and you can grab the um, the link address. So if you go copy link address, then you can just save that into your notes for the next section. So we're going to head back over to the um, Dubsado and head over to the proposal you're creating. Um, and then I want you to head over to form styling and scroll down to the edit CSS. So now what I want you to do is go back over to the file that you downloaded um, and head over to the style um, sheet CSS. You can open that and then copy that code into your form. So if I copy this here, this is the code that I have. So you know when I said the form here, we're going to grab right click and grab the copy link address. And we're going to do that for both of these files. So the first one is going to go here. Oh, sorry, go here. And then the second one, just going to copy the link address and then I'm going to pop it in to here. OK, perfect. Now what we need to do is we actually need to find the Dubsado CSS classes to target that for whether you're using the heading one, two, three, or four, or you want it as your paragraph font. So whatever you're, um, whatever you're targeting. Um, so I'm just going to go over to the Dubsado. So they give you the classes within here. So you can actually just copy this here, and where this is where we can put in our fonts now. So I'm going to put font family, the Sunday, because we need the font family. Then you might want to put some sizing in. So we can do font size. Um, this is basically mainly for desktop. Uh, for desktop, we would need to target mobile um, with a different screen size. So I'm going to do 65 pixels, and then you can do things like the font weight. Um, obviously, we've got normal font weight. So depending on what font weights your um, font file comes with, but we're going to test this out now. And we go to highlight this and change it to heading one. There we go. Obviously, the other ones I haven't changed yet, um, but you can also add things like your um, font color. So we could put in a hex code font. Oh, sorry, color. Make this black. 
So you can style your paragraph, your heading two, heading three, heading four. Um, if you want to, obviously 65 pixels is really large for mobile. So I would highly recommend um, targeting the screen size for mobile and tablet with a different font size for these as well. Um, but yeah, that's how to add your custom fonts into Dubsado um, without using your website using Dubsado.